rolling. rolling. All right. What's going on now? This is LP. Killing it. Hey, Absolutely hey. So, Hi, how are you? So, what does music mean to you? Oh, God. I mean, uh, many things, but uh, connection, expression, um, uh, emotion, you know. Uh, it's like a, it's one of those kind of intangible kind of like multi chakra vibes, you know, like, like yeah. you don't like things hit you in such a interesting way, you know, uh, songs, you know, I mean, even down to like the fact that like, you know, I've had songs that have like hit in countries that don't, that English isn't the main language, you know, but like, I guess it's just they're, they're connecting to the emotion, you know, and that's really cool. And so, I don't know, it's just like a, it's like a, it's like the grout of our lives, you know what I mean? It keeps us like kind of like connected to everything. So how's your festival experience been here at Blues Fest and what's your take on it? Oh, it was awesome actually. Um, festivals are hard sometimes. I feel like I, I, I always joke that it's like screaming into a fucking pillow. <laughs> a pillow. Screaming into a pillow. Uh, yeah, where it's just like, you know, as a singer, you're just like, where is it going? <laughs> you know, and I actually like tense a bit more, you know, because I just feel like I can corral the energy a bit better, you know. Um, but it's like festivals are nice because uh, they're like um, there's many people that wouldn't normally see you maybe, and then they just happen upon you and and you and kind of like zoom into your music and and are like, oh, I didn't even know this person existed. How cool, you know? So it's it's dope. Yeah, great exposure at festivals. Yeah. So what was the first record you ever heard that turned you onto the blues? Oh gosh, um, probably. Um, um, I mean, probably a Muddy Waters record, you know? Um, and uh, I have a song called Muddy Waters, and uh, I, that was like kind of trying to do a, a joke on that. And, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, um, uh, I'm like, you know, I feel like I tried to get uh, uh, blues out of my voice a lot, you know, when I was younger, just cause, I, cause it was so, it was like kind of predictable for someone like me with like a big voice, you know, like to do. I was like kind of like uh, dead set on being a, a more of a, um, pop musician, you know, uh, because I knew I could never really be like I'm. Like now, I'm not a pop musician. Um, can you take this fucking phone? <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm not a pop musician, uh, like in the true sense of the word. You know, um, I am. Um, you know, but there is blues inherent in what I do. You know, and it's it's really. Uh, you know, it's like you can't get away. I don't think with having like a kind of a a big female voice sometimes without a little bit of blues in there, you know, in my opinion. Definitely. And being from the States too, like it's yeah. home of the blues. Yeah, I mean, I love B.B. King. I love, uh, uh, what you, what's uh, the Crossroads guy, Robert? Come on, Robert. at the Crossroads. The guy who sold his soul to the Crossroads. Oh, Robert. Um, <laughs> this is a gift. I have a gift yeah. for like forgetting a name and then knocking it out of everyone's head. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna Come on. It starts with J, doesn't it? Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson. Come on now. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, that shit is like, when you hear those recordings, you feel like, um, it feels like a secret, you know? And that's what's so beautiful about it, you know? So on your second album, Suburban Sprawl and Alcohol, <laughs> which was released back in 2004, you collaborated <laughs> with producer, singer-songwriter, Linda Perry. Oh yeah. How was that experience? And can you tell me more about what you collaborated on? Um, yeah, we did a song called, um, I can't even remember, but uh, what was it called? It begins with a D or something like that. And uh, I don't know, there's like two songs or something like that. I don't know, but you know, she's like, she's dope. She's like, uh, you know, watching her in the studio is like, what I imagine is watching like Prince in the studio. She's like, uh, she's a boss, you know, and uh, uh, amazing songwriter, obviously. And just like, you know, just super, um, super tuned in to, uh, you know, um, production and, and all that stuff. You know, she's like, you know, she was a, she was a trailblazer as far as women producing, really. You know, so it was an honor to work with her, of course. You know. Yeah. So, can you share some of your experience about your songwriting with major labels, and who is your favorite <coughs> artist to collaborate with? Um, let's see. Um, well, I mean. You know, songwriting kind of like when I became a songwriter after I had like, you know, some people think I like, um, I was uh, 
a songwriter that became an artist, but I was an artist that became a songwriter because it didn't work out, you know, the truth be told. Um, and, uh, and, then went, and then came back around to being an artist because, uh, you know, I think I, I, I spent this time writing songs and um, it just made me such a better songwriter. And, and I did it without any, like, I thought that was my life now, you know, like, I was like, I'm not going to be, you know, an artist anymore. So I better, like, you know, like, hunker down and fucking, you know, write as, yeah, yeah. And, and to make money as a songwriter, it's got it's like a bulk thing you know you got to write as many songs as possible you know because you're dealing with like writing a percentage of the song and most of the time i mean and um you know it's got to add up you know so so i was doing that a lot and it just made me so um it really made me a better songwriter for myself which i didn't see coming at the time which was dope you know um because it's like it's kind of like a cry on command you know like it was just like kind of like write songs and that's how I do. That's how I do it now. I just like I was saying in the last interview. It's like I, I kind of like um, I um, you know I don't I don't bust like my my chops to fucking keep writing songs all the time. And I, like I, when I was younger and feel like kind of like Jesus Christ, I gotta write song. Keep writing. It. I, I collect all my things and I and I collect experiences and I just live the shit out of my life. And then uh, and then I pull the trigger and. and uh, you know, Airbnb, a house somewhere beautiful or something like that. And I just like get in there with a the producer and, um, and some buddies and I, you know, people I'm digging at the time and I just, and I just explode, you know, and it's like, and that's how, and then I just don't write anything for a while. And I don't, I don't, I don't worry about it. It's like, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really kind of, it allowed me, it taught me a lot about, uh, how to receive, you know, so it's really cool. Yeah. So after collaborating with so many amazing musicians, who's someone that you haven't yet collaborated with, but you'd love to? I don't know. I, I'm not like, that's not like something I ever think about. I'm more like, you know, I'm like, I'm more like, if you like me, I like you. If you're mad at me, I'm mad at you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not like really like, you know, toiling away like, God, I hope someone lets me write. They don't give a shit. If you want to write with me, I'll be like, yeah, that's it. Let's do it. Fuck it. You know, I just asked somebody to write with me, but like, you know, like, I mean, I don't know, you know, like, like some of like, you know, the best singers out there or whatever, you know, Bruno Mars, something like that, you know what I mean? Who, uh, who I know, like, I say hi to him, like, like some dork in the hallways, like in high school, I'm like, hi, and he wears me, you know, like that kind of stuff. I don't, you know, if, when it happens, it happens. Awesome. How has community radio helped you reach your aud audience? I don't know. I have no idea. I'd love to be like, community radio, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, you know, it's like, it's, it's been like, you know, it's like, you know, uh, counting grains of sand or something like that. I don't, you know, it's just like, they, you know, they've been lovely to me, you know what I mean? But I can't be like, yeah, they knocked it out of the park for me. You know, it's just like, I mean, we're all, we're all working. I feel like, you know, we're all on, like, we're all trying to do the thing. But, um, but yeah, no, I, you know, um, I can't say I felt like special treatment from anybody. You know, I just bust my fucking ass and I play as, as many shows as I can and I'm here. Anyway, does that sound bitter? Not really. No, I mean, I you know, know, it's like, go fuck yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Woo! I mean, it's just, did you touch a nerve? No, not even. I don't give a shit. I'm just like, I, I just, the answer to that question is, I have no idea. <laughs> How's that? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and touching back on what you said earlier, like I really uh, listened into Churches, your last album. Yeah. I'll never get and played on community radio again. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it goes through my mind. And it contains so many amazing songs, which took me on just such a journey. Oh, Churches did? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, heard three of the songs from the album in that yeah. set. Um, seem to be written once again from such personal experiences. Do you always work from your personal experience? Is it always yeah. that? Yeah. I'm just that interesting. You are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I just find life that interesting. You know what I mean? Like, no, I just like, um, yeah, I think like that's the thing about letting it flow. You know what I mean? Like, cause uh, I, you know, I've written hundreds, maybe thousands of songs that are like bullshit. Like, you know, people literally send me songs that I wrote like eight years ago for somebody that's coming out. And I'll be like, <gasps> that's terrible. You know, it's like, not that it's a terrible song, but it's just about nothing. You know what I mean? And, uh, and you know, you just know, like, when you're, like, writing, for me, I just feel like I know when something's so pedestrian and just, like, I don't give a shit about it. And I know when it feels 
good and that I think is just experience you know what I mean and uh, I don't know you know like you can write um, I've written with some of the biggest songwriters ever you know like wonderful people and uh, that are just so fucking talented and you know and they'll play me some clunkers they'll be like how'd you like this song I'm like I don't want to touch that song it's fucking brutal I never want to hear that song again <laughs> ever uh. thank you though so sweet like and even if I get one of my songs back and I'm like that fucking sucks it's gone I'm not like you know I long ago past the whole like wow I wrote that it's amazing <laughs> I hear it once, if it sucks, I'm fucking out, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, but I know, I know, I feel like I, the, one of the biggest things for writing that I feel like I, I got to the point for myself is like, if I can't stop listening to it, then I'm gonna put it on a record. And that doesn't mean, I, you know, I think it's worldwide smash or anything. I just know that it's mine, you know, and I, and I wanna hear it again and again, and maybe that's a good indicator for other people. Awesome. You know? Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for thank being you. here. That was yeah. awesome. Sorry to be an asshole. You're not an asshole. I didn't think that at all. <laughs>